Alfred Janidzunin, he is the founder of the state that he purchased in 1976. When in Virginia there was really nothing to speak of about vineyard and especially about European varieties of grapes. So it was the first uh, 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 serious attempt to reintroduce uh, a European style of wine and, and, and grapes into Virginia. Going back, the state goes back to late 1700 when at that point was owned by a Scottish family, the Barbers, and it was a big plantation, several thousand acres. First heir, James Barber, is the one that uh, succeeded, uh, uh, inherited, uh, the first inheritance of the estate, brought it to a certain wealth, and also was very much connected with uh, Thomas Jefferson and uh, James Barber, 20 miles some south uh, of Jefferson, seven miles to the north is Montpelier, Route 20, actually the road that it used to connect uh, Charlottesville to Washington, D.C., was going through, through this estate, and they would have their stops. So this was one of the important stops. And uh, so uh, because of the friendship with Thomas Jefferson, uh, uh, Barber uh, asked him to design a, a, a residence uh, for him, which is the, what we call today the ruins, um, which actually is, da is dated after the house that is behind. That's the original house is, is behind it, which today uh, we use as an inn. It was built in the late 1700s. Eventually the house was built right at the time when uh, James Barrow was serving as governor of Virginia in Richmond, right around 1804. Uh, sorry, in 18, right around 18, 1812, 18, 1814. So as he was there, the house was built. Eventually he moved back uh, and enjoyed for many years after that, the estate and so on. Uh, he became very much involved into uh, politics further in, in the Senate, he was Minister of War, so he was a big political figure, obscured of course by the two uh, bigger lights, uh, which are Jefferson and, and, uh, and Madison. Um, uh, in 1884, after his death, of course, the house unfortunately burned on Christmas Day due to a chimney fire, it was never rebuilt, likely to the fact that the family didn't have as much wealth at that point anymore, and that from several thousands of acres was sold and shrink down to a few hundred acres. It was then purchased by an English family, the Smithers, uh, in the 1930s. It was run as a fox hunting and a sheep farm. And in, in the mid-70s came back for sale, and at that point, this company was looking to purchase and uh, land in the United States to establish a vineyard beside the nine estate, the seven estates that they had at that time in Italy between Tuscany, Friuli, Veneto, uh, not Sicily yet, but they added that later. So anyway, they were visiting, they went to California, didn't go to Washington and Oregon, heard about it, but felt it was a bit too far and remote, especially in the 70s, even to get there. They went to upstate New York, not very uh, impressed by what they were doing in the 70s, and then heard about Virginia, and they said, why not, let's go visit Virginia. Came and uh, first thing, start collecting information about soil, rainfall, uh, uh, condition, water, you know. And they start looking for land in Charlottesville and Middleburg. And out of the two locations, uh, they end up uh, finding these estates and what, like you said, it was a love at first sight, uh, knowing already the climate and the soil but he liked the lay of the land, he liked the fact it was an historic estate that was, was still preserving as an historic estate. Gentle rolling hills. There was already a, a, a farm, so there were some buildings, there were some homes where you could already establish uh, a settlement, let's call it, of few people that uh, then eventually, would the, through the year, develop what it is today, 160 acres, a restaurant, and then uh, the idea is that wine uh, by itself really is not uh, enough. It doesn't serve a purpose, it's just wine. To really have an experience around why you need, you need the landscape, you need the surrounding, you need the, the right glass, you need the right company, the right food. Mm -hmm. And that's what we created here so we can share with people what the great uh, experience of wine can um, elicit. And so that's what we try to improve day, day after day of being here in Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> we can go on a